Konnichiwa. Hello, my name is Chris, JLPT Tutor. In this section, I'll cover the basic grammar of the JLPT N5 in order to help you get started learning it. Today, we'll start lesson number one. The lesson we will learn today is about the most basic grammar, or you can say it's simply on an elementary level. But don't take it for granted, as I've seen many students making stupid mistakes. Before moving toward our first lesson, make sure to download the PDF file in the download section. So are you guys ready? Let's get into it. Particle wa. Particle wa indicates a topic or something you want to talk about. N1 wa, N2 des. N1 is N2, where N1 and N2 are nouns about whom we are talking. Hiragana, ha, we pronounce as wa, when we use for particle. Des means to be, and it's a polite linking verb added at the end of the sentence to show politeness or respect towards the person we met for the first time or someone who is elderly and respectable. So make sure to use des at the end of every sentence. Let's take an example. I am Japanese. Wa in the sentence is showing that the topic is me. It's something about me, like I am Japanese is all about me. Watashi means I, and wa indicates the topic. Let's learn some other similar examples. I am a teacher. Watashi wa sensei desu. Watashi wa sensei desu. I am a student. Watashi wa gakusei desu. Watashi wa gakusei desu. You can make similar sentences by using the same technique on your own. Try making some right away. I'm a singer. I am Anne. I'm an interpreter. Now, let's learn about the negatives of des. De wa arimasen, which can also be used as ja arimasen in a casual way. Sentence structure N1 wa, N2 de wa arimasen. De wa arimasen means not to be something. N1 is not N2. Particle wa is indicating the topic. For example, I am not an engineer. Let's have a look at the example of a negative sentence. I am not Japanese. I am not a teacher. Try making similar sentences on your own and practice more and more. That place is not the toilet. I am not American. アメリカ人ではありません。Next month is not February. 来月は2月ではありません。来月は2月ではありません。Particle ka. Particle ka is used to express doubt or uncertainty. Placing it at the end of the sentence will convert it into doubt or a question. N1 wa, N2 desu ka? Is N1 N2? When you want to ask a question, simply put the particle ka at the end of the sentence. 
Let's look at some examples. Are you an engineer? あなたはエンジニアですかあなたはエンジニアですか Is Tom a teacher? トムは先生ですかトムは先生ですか Is he Japanese? 彼は日本人ですか彼は日本人ですか Try making similar sentences on your own and practice more and more. Are you an American? アメリカ人ですかアメリカ人ですか Are you an office worker? あなたは会社員ですかあなたは会社員ですか Just remember to put particle ka at the end of the sentence to make it a question. Formation of past tense in Japanese. Deshita is the past tense form of des. To make the past tense out of the present, simply put deshita at the end of the present tense. N1 wa, N2 deshita. N1 was slash were, N2. Des is the present tense. Deshita is the past tense. Let's understand this concept by taking an example. Here, in present form, I am a student is. Where in the past form, I was a student will be. 学生でした。Simply replace des with deshita to make it a past sentence. Similarly, I was a teacher will be. 私は先生でした。Try and make some more sentences like this. Last month was May. 先月は5月でした。先月は5月でした。Mr. Yamada was a doctor. 山田さんは医者でした。山田さんは医者でした。Formation of a negative sentence in the past. To make a negative sentence in the past, just add deshita at the end of a present negative sentence. Sentence structure N1 wa, N2 de wa arimasen deshita. You can replace deshita with de wa arimasen deshita to make the past tense negative. Let's try to learn from some examples. I was not a student. 私は学生ではありませんでした。私は学生ではありませんでした。Mr. Yamada was not a doctor. 山田さんは医者ではありませんでした。山田さんは医者ではありませんでした。He was not a teacher. 彼は先生ではありませんでした。彼は先生ではありませんでした。Before moving ahead, let me congratulate you on coming this far with me and almost completing your first lesson. Congratulations! You are on your way to becoming a good Japanese speaker. Now, Let's move on to our next particle. Particle mo. The particle mo indicates an object that appears in addition to another thing that has been introduced earlier. It corresponds to also, as well, and to in English. In simple words, we can say that mo is used to apply a previous statement to an additional item. For example, I am a doctor. 
My friend is also a doctor. Take a look at the sentence structure in Japanese. N1 wa, N3 des, N2 mo, N3 des. Sentence 1. N1 is N3. Sentence 2. N2 is also N3. Let's make it simple by an example. I am Chinese. My friend is also Chinese. It means where N1 is N3. N2 is also N3, and particle mo will always appear in the second sentence. Everyone came to the theater. Our teacher came too. みんなが来ました。先生も来ました。映画館にみんなが来ました。先生も来ました。I can speak English as well as Japanese. 私は日本語も英語も話せます。私は日本語も英語も話せます。with this, we are about to start our last lesson for today's lecture, which is about particle no. Particle no. We primarily use no to indicate possession and link nouns into a hierarchy. For example, in English we say Bill's cat. Both Bill and cat are nouns, and we use apostrophes to connect them. Similarly, in Japanese we use no to connect two nouns. Let's have a look at the examples. Your name. あなたの名前あなたの名前 My friend. 私の友達私の友達 My teacher. 私の先生私の先生 just remember that particle no shows the relation of one noun to another. With this, we must end our lesson here with the hope that you have got everything clear in your mind. Just make sure to check out the homework section before leaving. Also, be sure to score 100% in the assessment. See you in the next lesson.